Hey everyone, it's that time of the year again, and in celebration, I will be reviewing one of the spookiest and greatest stop-motion animated flicks that changed Halloween forever. No, not that one. Paranorman. Okay, I know it's not widely considered the better of the two, but whatever, let's break this down. Paranorman opens with young Norman Babcock, a boy with a gift more like a curse, in which he can see the dead. It's not long before this curse makes him the town outcast and sets him out on a horrific journey to stop an evil. And even though he doesn't want it, he's the only one who can. Although Paranorman doesn't reach the widespread critical success that The Nightmare Before Christmas does, I personally think it was better. But this isn't the first time we've seen this story. A misunderstood character is outcast from society, yet only through this trait that labeled them strange can they save the day. To be fair though, Paranorman takes a few twists and turns making it different enough to be enjoyable. Chris Butler wrote and directed Paranorman, and it's quite clear that writing is not his strong point. Not only is the plot unoriginal, the characters are all stereotypical. The dumb jock, the whatever, sister, and so on. On the other hand, Butler's direction is near flawless and more than makes up for the bland script. Paranorman is fun, well-paced, and more than immersive, getting better each time you watch it. Like I said previously, the way the characters are presented through the script is unoriginal and lifeless. Thankfully, the cast breathes life into them. Many of the lines could have easily been uninteresting and forgettable but the actors like Cody Smith McFay, who played Norman, and Tucker Alvarez, who played Neil, made them not only convincing, but many times great. Needless to say, Paranorman's wonderful cast will keep you engrossed in its characters from start to finish, with a few chuckles along the way. Easily, the best thing about this movie is the animation. The strong autumn colors throughout the world of Paranorman deliver an original charisma for Halloween-esque animated flicks when most have an over-reliance on dark colors. Not only that, but the way the characters are designed is awesome. Each being weirdly unique, but in a familiar way, much like Tim Burton's creations. And the Blu-ray quality only enhances the experience, showing the attention to detail in the clay moldings. In addition, the Blu-ray audio is well-balanced, and I did not have to alter the volume, depending on which scene I was on in the film. Paranorman, in my opinion, is the best stop-motion work from a presentation side to date. Not to mention, the Blu-ray case is pretty sweet too. All in all, Paranorman is an amazing film. And although it appears that the script was written by a five-year-old, every other aspect of the film was near perfect. If you ask me, Paranorman is easily worth your dollar at full price. Because Paranorman gets a 9 out of 10. So thanks for watching, guys. What's your favorite animated flick? And do you guys think that I'm crazy for thinking that Paranorman is better than The Nightmare Before Christmas? Let us know in the comments below. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and share it on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All the links for those can be found in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe by hitting that big button over there. And while you're at it, why not click that email checkbox so that our videos don't get buried with all the other channels you're subscribed to. I'm Zach. And I'm Kyle. And we're Battlefront, Battlefront Productions. Productions. Really? Can you the subscribe button bigger than us? Well, it is prettier than us. Can you believe it's actually been a year since we started this? A whole year. Holy. Right? I mean, like, we must have hundreds of subscribers by now.